What's up y'all, World's Okay's Guitar Player here. In this video, I'm gonna show you five, five riffs that only use one or two strings at the most that are easy to play and that sound really, really good. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you a bonus riff that you probably didn't think about was only on two strings. So without further ado, let's dive right into it, starting with the single string riffs first. Now, an easy riff video wouldn't be complete without, you guessed it, the white stripes. So to play Seven Nation Army, we literally only need the A strings. To get started on this, we're gonna take our index finger and we're gonna put it on the seventh fret of the A string. We're gonna pluck it twice. So it goes seven, seven, ten on the A string. And I think it's a good idea to, to incorporate your pinky because that's gonna get, help you get some pinky dexterity, which I know I neglected for so long that I have to think about it every single time I wanna use my dang pinky. So it's gonna go seven, seven, ten, seven. Then we're gonna repeat the exact same first half of the phrase, but we're gonna switch up that second half just a little bit. So seven, seven, ten, seven. Then we're gonna go five, three, five, three, two. So the second half of that lick together is Practice that slowly and build it up to speed and you'll be rocking out in no time. Our next lick is Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. So we're gonna start off on the second fret of the A string. Again, the A string is a running theme it seems like. We're gonna start off on the second fret of the A string, pluck it twice, and then on the third pluck of the A string, hammer on to the fourth fret. Then we're gonna pick the fourth fret and immediately slide up to the fifth. And then from the fifth, we're gonna, we're gonna pluck the fifth twice, immediately slide down to the fourth, and then pull off to the second. So all together, really, really slowly. Even slower. And this is a really good one to practice because we get to sound really cool when we do it but we're also practicing hammer-on slides and pull-offs with that quick little itty bitty riff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Practice this up and you're gonna sound great in like five minutes. The next riff on our list is Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. <laughs> This is definitely a little bit more tricky than the first two, but it's only played on one string, it sounds really cool, and it's really gonna help you with your timing between your fret fingers and your picking. So this is an awesome riff to learn. It is kind of difficult to play at the speed, but slowed down, it's definitely achievable, and with a little bit of practice, we can work up to full speed in no time. So the riff, is gonna be open E, seven on the E string, 
open E, six on the E string, open E, five on the E string, open E, three on the E string, to open. It's kind of funny how weird it sounds slowed down like that, but that is the riff. So if we play like, I don't know, like half speed or whatever. And in between those licks during the song, he's actually playing an E major chord. But we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna worry about the riff itself. Riff, lick, I don't, honestly, y'all, honestly, I have no idea what the difference between a riff and a lick is, I just know they both sound good when I say it, so if I've been saying either one throughout this video, just know in my head, they mean exactly the same thing. Let me know in the comments below what the difference is, if you know. Continuing on to the riff, playing it at half speed makes it sound definitely more musical. And this is actually gonna help introduce you to the pentatonic scale and the blues pentatonic scale because he's literally just playing those notes right there, but up here so he can get that alternating low E drone sound coming through. See, and you're, it, listen, I make mistakes too. Um, always gonna make mistakes. That's part of playing guitar. They don't call me the world's okayest guitar player for nothing. So that's definitely the most difficult single string riff lick thing that I've got for you in this video. Now let's move on to the two string riffs. Come As You Are by Nirvana. I believe that the original is played like five million steps low, cause that thing is super low whenever I listen to it on the record and I ain't got a guitar set up to go that low. I think he's in like D standard or like C sharp standard or C standard. I don't know. All I know is it's as low as the dang ocean floor. For the sake of this video, we're just in standard tuning but the fingering is gonna be the same. The way that we play it is we're gonna go, we're gonna pluck the low E twice, fret the first fret and the second fret, all picking, alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then we're gonna pluck A. Then we're gonna pluck two again on the E. A again. Then we're gonna pluck the second fret of the E twice. First fret, open, second fret on the A, twice on the low E. So really slowly. That is a really good, really, really good one to learn for like alternating between strings and all that good stuff. Slow it down and practice, practice, practice. Our next one is gonna be Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. This intro sounds absolutely incredible and again, it's only played on the low E and the A string. open we're gonna pluck the second fret of the low E pluck the low a, uh, <laughs> pluck the open A pluck the second fret of the A and immediately slide up to the fourth 
and he kind of like lets it die kind of quick. Then we're gonna pluck the second, then we're gonna pluck the second fret on the A string, slide up to the fourth, fourth, slide up to the fourth, slide back to the second, and then pull off to open. And then do that all again, except for the pull off. And then we're gonna do two really, or three really fast, like two to four, two to four, two to four on the, um, on the A string again. And we resolve on the second fret. And then we're gonna do the slide up, slide back, and pull off to open again. And then pluck the low A, <laughs> pluck the low A string. So slowly, So if you hung around this long, I really appreciate you for it. And I'm going to throw in a bonus for you. And it's the end, the end solo of Hey Joe, the Jimi Hendrix version. This is a super, super, super cool lick. And it's, again, two strings, the low E and the low A. I don't know why I keep wanting to say low A, so I'm gonna just keep rolling with it. The low E and the low A strings. And it sounds super, super cool. So the way that we play it, we start off on the third fret of the A string. Then we're gonna pluck the low E open, First fret, second fret, third fret. So all together that's So then on we're gonna go back down to the A string and pluck two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go back to the low E and do the same frets, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go back to the A string and pluck four, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna like toggle back and forth between seven on the E and five on the A. And then we're gonna pluck the fifth fret of the A string one more time and slide up to seven. And if you wanna throw in the low E while you're, you're fretting that seven, it also sounds really cool. So slowly, 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 it goes. This riff sounds super cool and is gonna catapult you into rock star status and by the end of the dang day, if you if you learn how to play this, everyone that hears you play this is gonna be like, oh my goodness. We're not worthy, we're not worthy. And it's really not that difficult to play, it just sounds super, super awesome and rocked out. So, anyways, if you like the video, let me know in the comments below. It really means the world to me when you do that. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below as well. If you like the video, run up and bear hug the like button for me. And remember, practice doesn't necessarily make you perfect, but it can make you okay. We'll see you on the next one.